The reason that the tyres are so important within racing and to any race car is because they're fundamentally the four things that connect you, the car, to the road and the track surface. Yes, we can have the best aerodynamics in the world, the best suspension in the world, but at the end of the day, it's that bit of rubber that makes all the difference. From my experience within racing, other tyres seem to have a much bigger drop off. You'll have five or six golden laps of the tyre where it feels good and then after that it becomes hard work, the car slides around. But well, my experience with this Continental tyre and the testing we've done so far in the GR86 car, it remains at a very stable and good level of grip for a long period of time which for driver development you can just continue to push out those quick lap times. So the thing that the car requires uh, a lot from the tyre is its adaptability. The tyre's got to be able to, to cope on a very abrasive and rough track surface, which we find quite a lot in the United States, but also a very smooth and grippy surface. You know, they're two very different things. You find the rougher tracks are a bit slidier, a bit less grip, create a lot of overheating within the tyre, whereas the smoother tracks provide a lot more grip, stability within the car, um, and occasionally you struggle to get enough heat into it. So you know, you've got to design a tyre that's capable for both of those track conditions, along with weather conditions. Um, you know, we, we're in the heat of the summer, we're out racing when the temperatures are 100 plus Fahrenheit, uh, but then in the winter at the same time, you know, we can be driving at 40, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, so you've got to be able to get it to work and perform in all of those conditions, which, you know, the guys at Continental, they're, they're professionals, they've been in this game a very long time and, and they've done a great job of.